What's happening, everybody? It is time for another Draw Reveal show, and this week we're talking about the Selkirk Kansas City Open. Can't wait to get there. Let's start with ladies singles, and the woman I have my eye on is right there. Leia Jansen, she's got a win in 2024. She is playing so well. Let's see if she can't keep that going in Kansas City, and let's see what the draws look like. And we'll start on this side. And look who the number one seed is. Catherine Parento. She hasn't won a tournament all year, but brings the number one seed into this. Why? Annalie Waters not playing singles. She is playing doubles in this event. So big opportunity for Catherine. On her side, though, we have a lot of the single specialists. Caitlin Christian, the five. Zoe Wong, who is a terrific all-around player, just keeps getting better and better. The 11, Brooke Buckner, has a win this year. She's the three seed, and she is Zoe's doubles partner. And then down there, we see the six seed, Judith Castillo, who, when we talk Major League Pickleball, is actually Zoe Wong's partner there. So that is a stacked side, and again, no AL dub. On this side, Leia Jansen stands out as a big opportunity. You have Samantha Parker there as the 12th seed who made a final down in Houston. So big opportunity for all these ladies without the dominant force that is Annalie Waters in singles. Can't wait to see how this plays out. Now let's look at men's singles. There he is. All he does is make it to Sunday. This dude has been unbelievable all year. The one thing I am going to be looking for is how healthy is Fed. Had to scratch at MLP in Utah. Wasn't feeling well. Hopefully the time to rest. But is he at the top of his game? We certainly hope so. We love watching the guy from Argentina play. So let's take a look at the draw. There's Fed as the number one seed. And on his side, a couple interesting things. Tyson McGuffin just He's amazing. He's still a top seed in these incredibly difficult men's singles fields. Just keeps making things happen with the Ferrari forehand. He's the three. We could have the Gabe battle over here if they both get through. Tardio versus Joseph. That'll be a lot of fun to watch. And then is this the week that Kwong Duong in all of that pace and spin makes it all the way to a final and maybe grabs a gold medal? He is the sixth seed. Over here, Connor Garnett at the top as the two. Jack Sock is back. He's the seven seed. He has made one championship Sunday, doesn't have a win yet. He's got an opportunity. He's from that area. He is going to be fired up. We have a lurking shark in the water, though, as the number nine seed, and that's Chris Hayworth. Hayworth does have a win. In fact, he won the last PPA event that we had. And he is ready to win. And when you see a nine next to him, his name, you just pray he's not in your section of the draw. Well, guess what, Dylan Frazier? He is in your section of the draw, and so is the red-hot Blaine Hovenier. So that little corner pocket right there is a handful for everybody. Men's singles, always unbelievable. Great battles all the way through. We'll see what happens here. Now let's look at mixed doubles and look at this team. Man, I love it. Christian Alshon back from injury, playing some terrific ball, can take a lot of the court. And then who's smoother than Etta Wright? Nobody. Puts the ball in the right spot, but when something is popped up near her, that one-handed backhand finish is something to behold. These two are going to be a very tough out. Let's see what their draw looks like. Let's take a look. Up at the top, as I mentioned, Annalie Waters and Ben Johns are playing mixed doubles and their gender doubles, just skipping singles. So they're at the top. Some very interesting teams to point out to you. Augie God, Jackie Kawamoto, very dangerous as a 19 seed. There you see Alshon and Wright. They're going to be in that same quarter as AL Dub and Ben, so that will make their lives difficult. Vivian David is playing with Yates Johnson. We wish Thomas Wilson speedy, healthy recovery. In the meantime, Vivian David plays with another guy from Texas, Yates Johnson. We'll see how they do. And then look what these seeds over here are like. The 21 seed, Colin Schick and Brooke Buckner. The 25 seed, the couple, Hunter Johnson and Paris Todd. These are very talented teams with seeds in the 20s. That's how good mixed doubles is. Then you've got Matt Wright and Lucy Kovalova, 
A couple of OGs and mixed have won tons of titles, but look where their seed is now. They're all the way down to the 11. Could this be the week that they get going? And then look at this first round matchup. This is going to be all oh, so much fun talking Elise Jones diving on the floor. You got Elise and Zane Navratil, Jeannie Bouchard back in, not playing singles, but playing the doubles events. And she's playing with the share bear. So don't miss the 17 versus the 44. That's going to be awesome to get this started. On the other side, the two seed, J-Dub and Georgia Johnson, just playing some terrific pickleball right now. And they're partners with the Dallas Flash in Major League Pickleball. So getting more and more reps. That's huge. Over here, we've got the 12 seed. Welcome back, Andre Dieskew. Suspension over, playing with Megan Dazan. Very talented team. And then we have the seven seed, Tina Pisnik, who's been working on her game with Colin Johns. Now they're going to pair together, see how that works. We'll see what kind of run they can make. Catherine Parento, not playing with Jack Sock anymore. She is in with Federico Staxrud this week. That is going to be very entertaining. And speaking of Mr. Sock, he's paired up with his New York Hustler MLP teammate, Leia Jansen. So... Who is going to get farther, and what if those two ran into each other? That will be saucy. And then down at the bottom, Hurricane Tyra Black and Dylan Frazier have been so close to making a run all the way to Sunday. Will Kansas City be the spot for them? We shall see. Now let's talk about women's doubles, and on the Carvana PPA Tour, one team stands at the top of the heap every single week. It's these two. Annalie Waters and Catherine Parento have lost exactly one time ever, and it was on a Monday. This team is unbelievable. Their consistency and their domination is second to none. If you run into them in the draw, they're trying to run you out of the building as quickly as they can. Let's take a look at the draw. There they are up there as the one seed. They are going to be tough to beat. Now, sometimes with Major League Pickleball, these teams get together and they're like, hey, let's get some Carvana PPA Tour reps so we can be terrific in Major League Pickleball. And that's what Jesse Irvin and Andrea Coop did. And then I traded Andrea. So they are not going to play together in Major League Pickleball. Coop was traded for Brooke Buckner, but they're getting the chance to play again as the eight seed in Kansas City. The three seed has a big opportunity. Couple of ladies from Utah, Callie Smith and Elise Jones. Can they take advantage of this opportunity? We'll find out. And then the team on this particular part of the draw that I really want to have an eye on is Leia Jansen and Tina Pisnik. They're terrific. They have won together. Will this be another great week where they can run and maybe take their shot at the top seed? A lot of wins to get there. On the other side, the two seed, speaking of Utah, is Megan Dazan and Etta Wright. You might be saying, where's Anna Bright and Rachel Rohrabacher not playing in this tournament? It's a big opportunity for them. The four seed, Jackie Kawamoto and Lucy Kovalova. Very dangerous. Love that combination of players. And then the five seed, Lacey Schneeman with all that athleticism and Jade Kawamoto. So we could have a Kawamoto battle if both of those seeds make their way through, but a lot of good teams in their way. We love women's doubles on the Carvana PPA Tour. Who is going to make it to Sunday? We shall see. Now, let's talk about men's doubles and look what we have here. Dylan Frazier is now the number one ranked player in men's doubles on the Carvana PPA Tour. That's right. Leapfrogged over Ben Johns. What an accomplishment. And these two have been terrific over the past two months. Let's look at the draw. There they are as the top seed. They are going to be something special to watch in Kansas City. Great early round matchup of the 13 and the 18. You got A.J. Kohler and Brandon French. French played some very inspired pickle in Major League Pickleball in Salt Lake City. And then the duo from North Carolina, Jack Sock and Colin Schick. The mouths are going to be going. There's going to be speed ups, flicks, and shots you won't believe. So find that match early on. Next up, the three seed, Jaume Martinez, Vic, and Tyson McGuffin. So much movement. They are going to cover the court brilliantly, but they have the finishing power. The question is, can they make a deep run? And the six seed is interesting. Hayden Patrickwin just keeps getting great partners, and he gets them to Sunday. He got Fed Staxrude there, and they won it. He got 
Pablo Tellez there this time. Christian Alshon, can he do it again? Big H is up for the task. I bet you he could. So that's going to be fun to watch their run. On this side, the Johns brothers are the two seed. That's the standings right now, folks. Will it inspire them? Will they play with that Johns level algorithm intensity and get themselves all the way there? They haven't won a title in several tournaments, and they know it. So they're the two. Another great early round matchup. Zane Navratil, Travis Rettenmeyer versus a couple of guys on the rise from Dallas. You got my buddy Yvonne and Noe Cliff, who is one of these guys that's jumped into the pool and really gotten some results so much so that he got picked up on the challenger side of Major League Pickleball. So kudos to Noe. Five seed, as I mentioned, Andre Diescu is back playing with Matt Wright. So much height and experience on that team. That is a tough out as the five seed. And then we got the D. Young battle down in the corner here. We have our man Donald Young playing with Kwong Duong as the 19 seed, and then Darian Young playing with Augie Ga as the 12 seed. So one D. Young's going to advance, one's going to be sent home. That is a juicy matchup beyond the fun with the name. So men's double, so much at stake. We got a new number one seed. I love it. Can't wait to see who takes the gold there. Let's look at the overall storylines now. And folks, we are starting this event, and I can't wait to see it, on August 8th, which is National Pickleball Day. That's right. So you have to go out and play yourself on August 8th. What a celebration for our sport. What does one year later in Kansas City mean? It means last year there was a lot of commotion in the pickleball space. Now everyone has come together. It's so great to have all the best players playing on the Carvana PPA Tour and in Major League Pickleball. We've come so far, and now we are unified and getting the treat of the level of play on this tour is second to none. Next. KC, a singles opportunity. As I mentioned, there's some of the stars of singles not playing. Ben and Anna Lee at the very top of that list. So who's going to jump in there and get a title? Is this your week, Catherine Parento, to get your first win in 2024 on the singles court? Back from the break. So there's been a bunch of Major League Pickleball in July, but not a Carvana PPA Tour event. So getting back into the rhythm of that's going to be interesting to see who can take the benefits that they get from Major League Pickle and, and put it in. Some players have been resting and not playing, so getting that health and revitalization that's so important throughout a busy season. So we're going to keep an eye on who is benefiting from that break. And then finally, this is one of the opens on tour. So what does that mean? A couple things. Number one, we play singles on Thursday, mixed doubles on Friday, men's and women's doubles on Saturday, and we will finish up with Championship Sunday. A thousand points are at stake. Where can you watch all of this, folks? You can catch the action on ESPN2 and Pickleball TV. We'll have you covered. I can't wait to be on the call. So can't wait to get to KC, get that barbecue. This is the Selkirk Kansas City Open. I'm Dave Fleming. Peace.